Alex, take the lid off. Don't tell me how to cook. I know what I'm doing. Well, you obviously not. Like, the, way, the water is going out. No, I've done that many times. I know what I'm doing. Uh, excuse me, but I keep seeing that the water is going out and it's not working. Like, I told you. Welcome to our channel, Bubbly Alex and Bubbly Bubbly Laura, where we talk about relationships without egos. <laughs> the perfect relationship without an ego. Now, this is where the little subscribe button comes up and we appreciate your support because we do it for you, you do it for us and we all live together happily ever after. Now, yep. what do we do in this uh, few minutes every week? What do we talk about? We illustrate situations that happened to us and made us come to something like a fight and where the ego pops up, how we fix the situation is actually the most interesting part. So now let's go to the... What happened this yes. week? What did we fight about this week? Yeah. Yeah. So here's the situation. I promised that um, it was a Thursday night, it doesn't matter the day, but I promised Laura I was going to make dinner. It was, I she asked was, too. Yeah, she asked, that, she asked for it because she was still working on her projects that she's very excited about. I said, no problem, because I love cooking. And we had talked about actually making red sauce pasta because we haven't had uh, for a long time red sauce pasta for, oh, I don't know, a long time, right. Uh, and I said, no problem. So I had... Uh, prepare the water, the pasta, the tomato sauce, and everything else I'll be using. Mm -hmm. And I start boiling the water. After the water boiled, I put the pasta. Um, for us, we used whole grain pasta. We love whole grain pasta. And it was macaroni, actually. Penne. Penne. Pasta penne. And what I like to do is, I like to, once the water is boiled, I put the pasta, it boils again. I like to turn it down, the fire, so it simmers on low fire. And I either leave the top just cracking open a little bit, so I leave the lid on the the, the pot uh, with reduced fire, and so the pasta is still boiling. It doesn't require that much heat because the lid is not off, uh, and in my opinion, it boils better because it's on slow fire, and uh, you also save on electricity. If that's a point, but definitely the pasta cooks better. That's kind of my viewpoint. So I did that, and. Because I wasn't paying entire attention to uh, the, the cooking because I was, it was on low fire, I didn't think the, the water would come out. But it did. I guess I hadn't opened the lid uh, like enough. And so the water kind of did tsh, tsh, and of course it makes that crazy <laughs> sound when it touches the, the top, right? The oven top. So I go in and I lift the, the lid and uh, the, the kind of the water comes down, put the lid on top. I, I, or at that point Laura said, you know, why don't you remove the, the, the lid, right? At, At that all. point, you, yeah, like, remove the lid so it doesn't happen. But uh, I did it again. I put the lid, I turn it down just a little bit more uh, at the fire, and I put, put the lid off, uh, on, and I came here in this room to just to stretch a little bit, because I didn't think the water would come out again. But it did! The water mm -hmm. flew out again, and at this point, I'm hearing as the water is coming out, and the, the oven top is doing sound, Laura is going, like she's like charging like a bull almost, right? And I can, she didn't say it, but I can hear her mind, I told you so. And she went on, took off the lid and let the pasta cooks that way. Now that's what the situation, that's what the situation was. And from it, Alex's point of view. Yeah, and it created, um, yeah, yeah. What about your point of view? Is there anything to add to that? Yes, a lot. <laughs> to add to the situation. Well, yes. What. From my point, well, after I asked Alex to cook the dinner, so I was kind of, okay, I'm not going really to pay attention, so he's cooking. But it happened that I came into the room and I was sitting on the table from where I looked straight to the oven and I was seeing actually what's going on with the water like all the time. And the first time Alex put the lid on top of the pot, I was, uh, I just looked at it and didn't say anything. I was quiet as right. a fish. Mm -hmm. He went out of the kitchen 
not looking at all what is going on on the oven while the electricity is running and while the uh, pasta is uh, boiling so uh, in like minute or two the water style as Alex told said it started going out but um, he I see it I don't say anything so he heard it and went to fix. fix it and it's like the second time I told him that why are you doing this like you see it's not working just leave the lid he first said um, I want to try this is how we save energy electricity and blah 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 I it's didn't better the past is better I didn't listen to him at all but he thinks that it, in my head I see how he told me how he thinks that this is the better way but I didn't see it like I saw how I was supposed to look again to the pasta and it started making me really mad that he is he says I'm going to cook it and he leaves the kitchen so when I saw the second time that the pasta that the water is going out I like try to shut my mouth and just go and remove the lid so the pasta is not boiling like the water is not going out again and I saw how Alex kind of like the energy in the room changed totally but I was I tried to not pay attention at all and keep doing my work thinking that everything is all right and after that uh, I made to him another suggestion about an exercise where he which he was trying and he reacted really odd so I decided that this is the thing that he got mad but another decision I took was to not pay attention at all I will keep going and everything is gonna be alright but unfortunately it wasn't okay so this was the situation right yes. we're describing the situation that's what happened now okay now how would typically an ego react in this kind of situation and actually how did both of us react on it well alex please tell i will so as soon as i heard laura's comments on uh you know not not there wasn't too many comments but just the the look of her eyes and the 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 sounds she made, like, I told you, kind of thing, like, the water is coming out again, you don't know how to cook. She didn't say those words, but that's what came into my mind. It's like, why is she making comments on how I cook it? I am cooking, it's my decision what I want to do. She doesn't even understand why I'm doing it. The pasta does taste better when it's on low fire, and we are more uh, environmentally conscious when you, you lose less power. I know what I'm doing. And so my ego went on a long conversation on how she's not right and I'm right I've been cooking pasta for a long time I know what I'm doing she likes my pasta why is she complaining yada 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 so you can see immediately my ego created a, an enormous situation of just water coming out of a pot right I mean you fix it and that's it and the situation is gone but the ego takes this instant situation that happened just for a few seconds and it creates a big conversation and drama in your head and it, it can go further on to say like, well, why am I cooking? Or like, why is she not happy? Why? Like, it can go on 13 different ways to defend itself because my ego felt attacked. I cannot be attacked. I know what I'm doing. That is a primary standpoint of your ego, of my ego in this situation. And I'm sure you can put yourself in this situation where you are cooking at some point uh, and somebody told you, why are you doing this? This is not supposed to go that way. And you get defensive, right? It's like, well, I've been doing this. My parents told me how to do that. And I've been doing it for many years. It must be right. So my ego took the uh, point view of I'm right. Why are you telling me what to do? And it started to create situation to separate itself, going into a small, tiny, sad, little bubble, separate from our bubble, okay? And cornering on one side and attacking mentally Laura, right? because she is offending me or uh, telling me what to do and she's got no right to do so. And so that's my stand, what, that's what my ego did. My ego saw how Alex starts doing something and leaves the kitchen, don't paying 
attention at all what is going inside and I felt like I have to like if I have asked my kid to do the dinner but you know when the when kids is doing something you're always looking what are they doing because to take uh, to be sure that no one is going to get nothing is going to get too much wrong and the second time when I told Alex to remove the lid and he didn't do it um, I got a little um, angry tell inside. Us, tell us what, what happened in your mind. And my mind was like, okay, oh my god, like, I told him, like, I told you remove the lid because, uh, like, obviously your way is not working. Obviously, the pasta is going and to make the water run out if you don't remove the lid. And why are we, why do we need to save like 30 cents for electricity and not and in order to make the pasta no this is like it's crazy at first when they started coming to my mind all these thoughts i was ready to open my mouth and instead of just uh, mumbling something under my nose to tell him like i once asked you to cook dinner but the second thing that i thought was like um okay he is um like too far from the kitchen and i'm closer i'm just going to remove the lid and doesn't it really make sense to make an argument because of a stupid water so basically our egos uh, put you on one side and me on one side and little bubbles and wanted to argue to to make the other person look wrong yes is that fair so that's what the ego will do it will create a situation that it will, it will not create a situation out of it, but it will create a, a psychological situation of what is one lit, right? In your story is one story, in my story is another story. So that's the outcome of the ego, argument and separation. Perfect. And this thing, I told you, this ne mm -hmm. never ever go in that trap, I told you. Yeah, I told you so. Okay. What would happen if we use the one bubble concept and how did we fix this thing by by using it by using it so the one bubble concept just to remind you is where you um do not separate yourself it's a situation where you go me against her but because there is no i in, in us. us that's right one bubble concept is one unit laura and i in this case it's a relationship without an ego perfect one so in this case when i saw laura making this you know remarks like and my ego started saying don't tell me what to do I I was kind of stretching here on the carpet actually I caught myself going on with my ego and I said wait a minute I'm getting off the one bubble right so I need to use the concept I need to get back in the bubble and in that time it's very challenging not to listen to your ego and become separate and attack the other person right don't tell me what to do da -da 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 -da, like we said it's very addictive to go in those thoughts but I caught myself and the, thing, the things I said to myself is, oh, wait a minute, Laura is right, the water is boiling out, right? So anybody could get, you know, frustrated, hey, it's happening two, three times. Um, that's number one, right? Number three is, number two is, it's just a lid and a, and a water, right? Get up, fix it, and that's it. There's no need to listen to the ego to create drama because no one's going to win, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to go in two separate bubbles and nobody's going to win. And the third thing I said is, what, what happens if I don't listen to you? Just smile. Right? I don't want to get out of the bubble and argue and ruin the rest of the day, right? Which could have happened much worse than what happened at this case. So I used it, the one bubble concept to remind myself is like, Laura and I are one. I don't want to attack her in my mind. And then verbally, if I listen to my ego and right, like it creates an argument. I want my peace and happiness and staying in the one bubble, not listening to a separate small sad ego, but to a big loving relationship without one. This was very beautiful. How did you use the one bubble concept? Like how did you nail it? I tried to not pay attention. To what? This was my... to, to your ego? Yeah. Okay. And did you tell yourself something or just it was not paying attention to it? It's not true? And... Yeah, I was just... I just thought well, this thing does not deserve my energy. Like. This situation literally does not deserve spending 
uh, energy to get angry and um, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to to argue with my husband that I love for water and boiling water. Like it can happen to anybody. Just so so you chose to be here and now and not listen to the. Challenge. I chose to be happy instead of being right. Well, there you have it, you guys. You have on one side, like we described you, if you listen to the ego, you will create an argument, right? First, you'll be sad in your mind, and then in the other person's, and then there will be, obviously, the energy, and maybe your verbal fight is not going to go, and not even the dinner is going to be tasty, right? And yeah. uh, following the one bubble concept is reminding you, wait a minute, we are one unit. Why attack in my mind saying, she doesn't, she can't tell me how to cook, or in her mind, like, why is he not doing it, right? And then it seems like I'm right and she's right, but we're both losing, you see? Because we become less separate. We become more together. So less separate, if you follow the ego, more together. more together. If you follow the one bubble concept, which is following your heart, which is together with the other person in this case. So again, the one bubble concept nailed it. Yes, in uh, different ways, way. yeah. which is cool. In different ways. Um, and the result was obvious. Many to eight now? Eight to... Eight for seven. seven to zero for the one bubble concept. That's a high five. And uh, here is where we encourage you to give us. We've had a few suggestions of what to talk about. What are some common things to illustrate that happens between relationships, or in general between people? And we will do for sure. Subscribe and give us that comment. Thank you very much for watching us, and we hope you like our content. So give us a like, a share, a comment. Um, yeah. And be happy. Let's, and let's see what happens next week. Yeah. And until then, for the next argument, remember the, the most important thing is don't struggle. Bye bye.